Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Dad, and... We're making another Aiden Live Q&A. Woo! So Dad, whenever I record with Bandicam, I get this horrible thing in the center of my screen, and it looks really unprofessional. How do we get rid of that? Okay, let's start again by uh, bringing in our old project, our previous one. So that's this one. This time we won't forget to rename it. And we make it five. There we go. Okay, let's put the plane line somewhere here where we can have a background image. So I didn't talk about this watermark here in case you didn't get that. There's a easy way to hide that or to at least change it to put your own stamp on it. Let's see how to do that. Sure, so easy. So for that, you're going to do something different. Normally we import clips through this button here, but now we're going to do it through this button here. And this is because we want to create a title. So we do that. And this is a little difficult interface to uh, negotiate if you're new to it. But I'll try to show you the shortcut ways here. First, we want to create a rectangle with a black filling color. So, anywhere here, like that. This is going to be the background that we're going to paste over that piece of text that we don't want to see in the video. Next, we want to create a bit of text. And for that, we just do that. So, let's say we want to name it. Alien and uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna drag it over here so you can see it. We're gonna dance the final stand. We're original. <laughs> we lied. Okay, now you got the reference in the screen how big you need to make the font and the, and the rectangle and whatnot. There's an easy way to do that. And that's why I put the play line before we started. I put, put it somewhere on the video. So that's what it's going to show. If you check this box here, you see there, it puts a part of the video in the background. And it's just as a guide. It's just for you to reference. It's not going to be always sitting there. So don't worry about that. So now we want to first make this thing the same length. This black box just needs to cover up the this part of the text. So we're going to grab it there and we're going to make it shorter, like just a little bit longer than that. But we also want to do this and make it as small as possible. This part of the uh, video editing usually goes slow and is very fiddly, as Dad is demonstrating here. So I like get. In order to get it nicely, you can, you can try and put it there, but to be consistent, I normally just do this. I make sure I cover that B there, right, like this. And if you don't like the open space at the top, you can make this black box a little bigger. But that's the way I like to do it. And then I center it with this. See, with this button here, you can move it all over the screen. See, like that shortcut ways of doing stuff. So this is extremely handy. And this is really useful if you want text to appear in the middle of the screen. Yep. And so you don't have to again, I, I'm going to just center it around the bead uh, along the horizontal, but for the vertical I'm centering, I'm going to do that. Or maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> Okay, now let's grab this text and do the same. I'm just going to put it somewhere on the box and, and I'm just looking for the spacing between the, the top edge of the letters and the black box at the, in the background there. I want it sort of the same, like that, and then I center again with that. And how's that? I think that's cool. Let's say OK here. This, of course, if you want to do different fonts let me just show you quickly you can do different fonts here right uh, you can change the size of it like see 
see what it does there in the box it shows and stuff. Or you can just go and do it again like it was. This works nicely for this one. And you can do bold and italics and underline. And all of your lovely font stuff. All that kind of stuff. Oh, one, one important thing to, to show you guys is this. If you created these out of sequence, if you if you started with a text and then did the black, you might find that the text goes underneath, the black overlays the text, not vice versa. And for that you need to use these buttons here. So the one that you want on top, the text, you want text on top of that. Let, let me show you the other way around. Let's reverse that and you see what the effect is. So if that guy was at the top, then this would happen. See, now it hides the text. If you want to fix that, you click on the one that you want on top and you say put that one on top. Or if you want to do it the other way around, you can say put that one on the bottom. And now, even if you move it over, it goes under. Okay. Let's do this again. And this again. Click there, everything looks fine. All good. Okay, here. And you'll see it's created this new title clip image here. And of course, you need to do something with that now. It's still not on, as you can see, on the video. Okay, guys, so first, there's a, a few things we need to do before we can uh, put that title on. And you'll see me zooming in here on the left side. I just want to put a guide here because I want to move this video now a little bit. I just want to move it one track down like that. Okay. And let's zoom out a little bit. Now we can bring the title clip down. And you can rename it up there if you want. Just lining it up with the left edge here, and of course dragging the right edge. So it lines up there. Um, I'm not going to explain now why I do do it like this, as opposed to just putting it in between these two uh, intro and outro pictures. But uh, it should now fade nicely. Let me just change this instead of aura. I just want to change it to video three because I want. I don't want it to uh, be composite to this one. I want it to be composite with the actual video, not to the title. And same here. Although the order should figure that out. I just let me play it safe. Let me drag it through here. Oh, yeah, there we go. See, even the title fades in that or dissolves so that's what that transition layer is called the dissolve and same here dissolves out like that and in the middle you can see there's our title righty let's render it we're gonna change this to five and everything else is still good here And we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so after our first double digit render time, uh, it's done. Yeah, and uh, obviously adding this additional track um, made a huge difference in, in the rendering. And you'll see that the more complex your videos become, the, the longer it's going to take to to do. It quadrupled the uh, rendering time. Okay, so let's just play it quickly and see... That it worked. If it worked. So we want to see it fading in. Oh, that looks nice. So in that video, we learned how to overlay something using a title clip. Okay, guys, uh, we'll again link this video we just created in the description and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe.
Bye. Bye.